I grew up in Alaska. We started out in this little cabin. My dad's way more interesting than I think I am. His coming to Alaska, my mom and dad both, they both moved from this town called Morrisville in upstate New York. Both come from the same town, didn't know each other growing up, but they were kind of both a part of this back to the land movement which is like a movement in the 60s, like go go out to the land, figure out where we come from, just go, go and live. And and Alaska was on that list, I guess, for a lot of people from that town, especially. But I guess my dad moved up in 70, 71, right out of high school, went straight to the mountains of Chase outside of Talkeetna. And the plan was him and his friends were going to go up and they were going to all go out to these mountains and they're going to live for three years off the land and then come and meet back up in Talkeetna after that three years. My dad came out after three years living in the mountains and these stories are really amazing. You have to get them from my dad, but running into bears, like bears sticking their head in his cabin and everything <laughs> that he, he overcame being out there. It's, it's, it's just so interesting. But he came back to Talkeetan after that three years and nobody was there. <laughs> His friends, nobody was <laughs> in the woods for the three years. So he came out uh, alone and worked on a potato farm for a while, worked in, I mean, what they called a mental institute back then for a while. And just the, it's just kind of a wild journey to, to finding my mom and having us kids. And uh, yeah, he just, that journey continued after we were born. He, he, he worked his way up and ended up creating this construction company. He was building homes in, in Wasilla. We actually, he actually built the house that our bass player grew up in, which oh, was whoa. so That's crazy. funny like, <laughs> pulling up on the house. I mean, this is so long ago now, but at the beginning of the band, pulling up at my friend Zach's house, my dad saying, oh, I, I built this house. I built the house as actually. <laughs> yeah, he, he used to do this thing where our family has never really cared about money <laughs> or like really material things a whole lot. And it, it, he would do things for trade. So growing up, he would, he would build a shed and he'd say, oh, like that's, that's a cool dune buggy. Can I trade for that? He was always trading down too. The, the dune <laughs> buggy is uh -huh. much less than the shed. And he, but he would always be like, oh, if you don't have the money, like, let's, let's just trade for that. Oh, you need a house? That's a cool boat. Like, I'll trade for that boat. And then eventually he would trade the boat for something smaller and something smaller. And then you'd kind of end up at the end of the day being like, well, that was some fun. Like, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> but he, he would always end up back, back at zero. What, one of the things that he picked up along the way was he had built a shed for one of the founders of the Iditarod, Joe Reddington Sr., and it, while he was building it, he's looking around and saying, wow, this is really interesting. You're, you're a dog musher. Like you, if he found it, the idea ride, he said, you know, I'll trade, I'll, I'll trade my work for these dogs or like a dog team. And Joe kind of taught him everything he knew, got my dad introduced to that. And my dad took us out to this cabin and we just lived out there in the icy lake outside of Takina. We lived out there for a few years while he was learning how to train dogs and getting into, <laughs> into mushing. And we just lived in this one room cabin, taking baths in this tin tub, you know, it was, it was very like boil water to, to take a shower, you know, take a <laughs> bath. It, it yeah. was, it was a really cool upbringing and, and that, lasted until I left Alaska. Like we've moved around a lot. We lived outside of Denali for probably four years altogether, lived in Fairbanks, just moved around the state around mushing and the Yukon quest. And he was always about the, the treatment of the animals because when you're out there, like the, the dogs really love, like they just love doing this. It's, it's, it's a really amazing relationship that you have. And it's, I mean, he, he ended up being race marshal on the Iditarod you know, at, like a few years as well, just looking after the treatment of, of the dogs and the dogs were happy and healthy. And I mean, it, it, was, it was just fun.
tra- traveling around. I think that's, that's what awesome. sparked a lot of my, I guess, will to travel myself. And kind of knowing that we needed nothing but each other along the way is the thing that made me want to do it. But to be perfectly honest, I never pictured myself actually doing it. I, like I wanted to see these places. I wanted to to go to New York and Texas and, and these spots. I never saw myself leaving the country. I never saw myself getting out further than that. I was a very shy kid growing up. I mean, you can imagine. I grew up in right. cabins and just was not around pop culture. Like we didn't really have TV. We didn't have power until I was, I mean, until I left Alaska, I I grew up with a generator. 